Hey guys, it's Spaces Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 Fractured, which is our Disney Villain Legacy Challenge. And let's see something. We might get to see Miles' birthday today. Yours is not for another week, child. Okay. Good, good. Oh, good God, the sun. The sun is in my eyes! Anyway. Oh, Ambrose became good friends with Miles. I think that's so cute. You should be good friends with your family. Oh, look, you made a little friend. It'll sticks. Willow it'll sticks. Um, you don't have a good relationship with Skelly Bear. You know why? Skelly Bear hates you because Skelly Bear is Leona's friend. But Yancey and Leona, and it's like, I mean, this is just Bigfoot stuff because that's the other one. We have two of them, but that's this one. This is just Bigfoot stuff. Yancey's downstairs. Um, anyway, what was I gonna do? Yes, yeah, shit. You already don't have a great relationship with Ambrose, which is perfect, because that's the way it should be. You are also going to end up when Miles ages up. So Miles will age up probably in this part, um, or we'll at least get to his birthday so we can age him up, you know, whatever. Uh, because it's Monday night, we should definitely be able to get to Wednesday. And, wait, what? Birthday's Wednesday, right? Yeah, okay. I For some reason, my brain was just seeing the things on the calendar, like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, as, like, over here. And I was like, why did it look like it was in the Thursday spot? Listen. Anyway. um, And then Miles will start kind of getting a little more, like, big brothery, you know, with him. My neighbor claims the tea. Yeah, I don't want to go there. I want to see if you can. Oh, you can't. What? I mean, damn it. I wanted you to be able to, like, destroy his school project. I guess you can only do that when it's half finished. But, like, I, I maybe when nobody's around. That makes me kind of mad. I wanted him to destroy it. But I think you can only do it when it's half finished. And, I mean, I just said that, which is just makes me sound crazy but they were working on it so i think when i was i clicked on it it wouldn't let me do it i was like oh okay you can't do it but that's because they were working on it so i think like yeah you know are you gonna finish this project are you helping with just chatting Miles finished his homework because he's a good kid. Um, but again, he's like an average student. He's like, you know what I mean? He's nothing exceptional. And I think Leona's always going to try to be better. Like, he does all of his school projects and he does all his schoolwork and he tries really hard. And he's never going to get... Megan asked me on it. Yeah, go for it. You know what I mean? And then, but Leona's never going to get the attention or praise that Miles gets, despite the fact that, like, tries harder he puts in more effort miles is only like a c student he's just average it's not it's not like you know what i mean like you think about it like oh there's miles who's the first child and he's perfect and he's on the football team and everybody loves him and his teachers and he's such a great wonderful person and he helps out and he like you know he gets straight a's and you know what i mean where they're perfect and you're like I try and I'm just an average student or even if I get B's, I'm not as good as my brother who got straight A's and, you know, volunteered at a soup kitchen and like saved a kitten from a tree, you know, where he goes above and beyond and does this shit that you can't live up to, you know, um, but, uh, but it's not even going to be like that. It's literally going to be like, well, He's an average student. He doesn't do anything, you know, he doesn't go above and beyond, you know. He's nice and people like him. You know, he's got this charm and like whatever, but it's not like, 
he doesn't i mean i mean i guess yeah he would do nice things like oh i'm just gonna like talk to people whatever but even if he's not going out of his way to do things for people whatever it's just he's nice and people just like him and he just has this charm where people like him even though he like could get into trouble he could literally go do something terrible and everyone would be like oh well he's just a kid he'll figure you know what i mean but like leona just existing makes people angry at him like Something is tweaking out right here. Anyway, you know what I mean? So, like, Leona tries and gets better grades, but everybody thinks Miles is so great. Leona, like, could try to go do something nice for someone, but, you know, he's going to fuck it up a little bit. Or something's not going to go right. You know, like, Miles walking up to help an old lady cross the street and be like, Oh, you're such a nice boy! Leona going to do it, and he'd pick the wrong little old lady, and it'd be a crotchety... He'd fucking pick... Agatha Crumple Bottom or whatever. And she would Agnes. Agnes is the one that beats you and Agatha's the nice one, right? God, I can't remember now. Anyway, yeah, it's Agnes. She's the one that would hit and she'd get he'd get hit with the purse. You know what I mean? And then it'd be like, God, why just Oh, respect people's boundaries and it's like my brother literally just did the exact same thing and got praised for it and I got beaten with a purse. You know what I mean? Like it's shit like that. And I think that's what's going to, like, tweak him the fuck out. Like, why is he better? I do the same shit. I actually put effort in at school. And I got A's. He was a C student. Is like, And he just can't rectify, like, why. It's just something about Leona that rubs people the wrong way, I guess. Which is just weird, because it's like, the child is, like, try. I mean, he's hot-headed. So I think, I don't think that helps. You know what I mean? I think he was a very, if he was very level-headed, calm, you know, whatever, then, like, he would be able to kind of, like, at, when he got older, like, rationalize things and be like, okay, well, you know what? It's because my brother tried to help a nice old lady, and I tried to help the nasty witch. Okay, makes sense. You know what I mean? Whereas, like, being hot-headed, he just gets angry about things, and then doesn't really think about it or like just any little thing that tweaks him off. He just gets mad and like that rubs people the wrong way. And then they're all like, Oh God, this kid, like, you know, whatever. Um, and like, cause like miles is just, Oh, he's a child of the ocean, but he's dastardly. Why are you dastardly? You don't have a deviance aspiration. Why are my Sims get this? He's never had a deviance aspiration. never had a deviance asper that's just so fucking weird like i don't i could understand if i accidentally like and i'm pretty sure i didn't like age him up for some reason in cast because like i've done that before where i'm like wait hold on let me check something and then like you age them up and f because something like is like fix something and put them back but like I had no reason to do that with him. And, excuse me, who are you? Um, why did you come into my house? Why are Sims just coming all up in my fucking shit again? Can you come home? Where the fuck are you? Why are you just... Ah, my Sims are so stupid. Like, he just stays there and he would have died out there. And it's like, well, idiot, come home. You walked out there. You could come back home. Anyway, could you go to bed, please? No, stop going out to play and go to bed, you ass. But it's shit like this. Like, Miles is just playing and doing whatever. No fucks given. Not going to bed. Kind of irresponsible. And, like, still going to get praised over Leona, despite the fact that Leona, you know, put himself to bed, did all this shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Miles is kind of, like, irresponsible, but everybody likes him. I also feel like Miles would be the person who did something kind of like Miles would be the kind of kid that would get caught shoplifting and then everyone would just be like, oh, sweetie, were you really just hungry that you needed that candy bar? Like, OK. And like somehow forgive him. It's a valuable learning experience, son. Like he was on a fucking like 80s PSA or like an 80s after school special about like why you don't do drugs. And then, like, he would just be selling coke to other kids and, like, somehow he'd get away with it. And meanwhile, 
like Miles would get fucking in trouble. <laughs> just, 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 just because. Like I, you know what I mean. I mean, my like Miles is not going to be. Did I say Miles would get in trouble? Leona. Um, Miles is not going to be like a drug dealer or whatever. But I mean, just like. He could just absolutely, like, be irresponsible, stay out late, skip school, whatever. And, like, everyone would just be like, oh, well, I mean, he's just being a rebellious kid. Could you leave the motherfucking room so your child can pee before he pees on the floor? And then you yell at him for it? You know what I mean? Like, Leona mopping up puddles that, like Miles leaves behind and it'd be like, Leona, Jesus Christ, why do you make such a fucking mess? I didn't. I'm cleaning it up. It was Miles's mess. You know what I mean? Like, Miles could do no wrong no matter what he does. Feeling hurt from someone nearby. Okay, I'm not sure who hurt you. I mean, everybody in your family. But, like, um, you know what I mean? And it's just because, again, Leona's kind of a little hot-headed, you know, so he comes across a little snarky. He can be rude, like, when, like, somebody pushes his buttons you know because he's just seeing all this shit you know what i mean so he gets like a little snippy and a little bitchy it's just his attitude he's got an attitude problem so i mean legit he's got an attitude problem but miles is like really just nice and sweet and like knows the right things to say to people and it's not that like again it's not that miles is a bad kid you know what i mean yeah they're like go stand up for your friend Oh, friendly advice. Because you see, Leona went to Ansel for this, not anybody else. I actually want to see. Yeah. Weird thing is, is like he has no empathy. Miles has very little empathy, which is kind of funny. I, okay, you know what? I mean, we've been toting you this whole time as, like, this good, wonderful kid, but, like, maybe you're kind of a sociopath. You know what I mean? Eating dirt's unhealthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm kind of wondering, because, I mean, like, how little empathy this kid has. Maybe he just pretends to be, like, a nice kid. You know what I mean? He just kind of pretends he's really good at conning people, but maybe he's not the nicest person. You know? I mean, it doesn't necessarily make him a horrible person because he has no empathy, but it does kind of could very well lead to that. Like, you you could learn to have some empathy for people, you know? I mean, I mean well, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know now that I said that. I kind of do feel like if you can't empathize with anyone or anything, that might make you a horrible person. Like... You have to have some kind of empathy. You don't have to empathize, like, with every single, like, oh, no, oh, this person, oh, with everyone, because, like, that's dangerous, and people are going to, like, manipulate you with that. But, like, you have to have some kind of, just, just some empathy. You know what I mean? Even if you pick and choose where you're like, you know what? I don't believe this fucking story. And then people are like, how could you not believe this person who said they're dog gutter oh you're horrible and it's like no because they're an asshole and they've lied about so much shit so i don't have any like empathy for them but like just this other person you do. you know what i mean like there's a balance but like you gotta have some if you have literally none that kind of concerns me I, so like the fact that miles is very low empathy i mean leona doesn't have much but he got a little bit you know what i mean like, the fact that you are just going to be completely almost, like, right now, I know they're not anywhere in the range, but, like, right now you are leaning toward being insensitive, which is just really weird. And it's not going to get any better when he gets to be a teenager because he's going to be very insensitive to Leona. I think that's kind of interesting. And, like, you know, I mean, that makes him a little bit... He's not a perfect person. Like, he doesn't care about school that much. Like, he's going to be very insensitive to his brother. And I feel like now, kind of looking at that, like, maybe everybody likes Miles because he's very, maybe he's good at manipulating people. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. No, I know these people like me. And I only do things for them for my own gain, not because I give a fuck. 
You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to help Agatha across the street or with her groceries because then she's going to praise me to people in town or because someone was there to witness it, not because I give a fuck that there's an old lady carrying a heavy bag of groceries. You know what I mean? But it's stressful decor. That's because you're standing there. You know what I mean? So, that, yeah, you know, which I get, I mean, works perfectly because... Everybody in this house, honestly, except for Ansel, is like fucking asshole. Liam's not really an asshole, but, you know, he's kind of becoming one because, like, <laughs> we've taken all of his happiness and joy out of his life. He's a party animal. He wants to go out and have fun, and now he's tied down in this family, and he can't do the things that he wanted to do, like, ever, you know. And Ansel is also stuck in this fucking hellhole, you know. I love this family. I really do. But he's kind of stuck here like, yep, this is my life. I hate this. Could you actually go to bed? I'm not really sure why you won't accept that this is your bed and actually go to sleep when you need to. Why do I have to tell you to sleep? Is it because it's a twin bed? Like, sweetie, I'm sorry. Do you want to, like... Leo, okay, but I don't want your grades to go up. You're a B student, and you're a B student. But it's even that. It's like, oh my god, good job, Miles! And Leona's like, the fuck? I'm younger than him, and I'm already in the same classes. Because, like, he's like a B student in, like, normal classes. And I feel like Leona worked really, really hard. And is, like, younger, but already has the same grade. You know what I mean? Like, he's obviously technically doing better in school. Because he's already at the same level as Miles. And Miles is about to fucking graduate to high school in a day. Like, you know? And yet everyone's like, good job, Miles, you got a B! And Leona's like, excuse me, I'm taking the same fucking classes. And they're like, yeah? So? You're both in elementary school! <laughs> He's like, but I'm taking, like, two grades above me classes. What the fuck? You know what I mean? We're just trying to make Leona's life as goddamn stressful and hard as possible. Can't wait for you to age up because, well, yeah, they did get a jump on their homework. It said they did. Um, Can't wait for you to age up because then you can start berating Leona a lot and ruin your relationship with him. So, going to be good times. You did nothing to deserve the fate that is coming for you, to be honest. Aside from being born first. Basically, because you had to die based on that. You just, that's your lot in life, kiddo. Sorry. Like, and like, <sighs> actually, it's kind of funny, like, looking, because, like, I really feel like. Leona, are you, like, pastier than your parents? I think Liam has, like, light, was, like, because, like, Ambrose and Ansel are kind of, like, id. They're not, like, super pasty, but they're not, like, I really have no idea how Miles got his skin tone. I really don't, but, like, fine. I do like it with his eyes. It's pretty. And the fact that he got, like, platinum blonde hair. Uh, again, I have no idea. Are you sure you're related to anyone in this household? Were you adopted? Because, like, how... Your, even your hair color, like... You're, you got pink and you got brown. And then we somehow ended up with... Fucking, like, platinum blonde. I just... I mean, I don't even know. But yeah, well... No, maybe your skin tone's kind of similar. Because, like, I tend to put my sim, like, not super pasty, but, like, not really. I kind of put them in the middle more. Like, somewhere in the mid-range, you know? Like, that's where I would like to be. Somewhere slightly tanner than I am. Because I am, like, fucking transparent. I don't mind. Like, you know, whatever. But, like... But it is, like, sometimes I glow in the dark uncomfortable too many sims fear of crowded place where are you why don't you go home 
Okay, why don't you go home? Why don't you go do something fun? Oh, you know what you could do for fun? No, I got an idea. Oh, never mind. Your husband's talking to the kids. Why don't you go complain about your problems? There's too many people around. I'm miserable. And then why don't you go woohoo? That's fun. Do you have a festering bitterness against Ambrose? No. Who do you have a festering bitterness against? Is it Leona? It is. Liam has a festering grudge about Leona. Wow. That is so much fun. You need to go pee. You can get up. It's like 5 p.m. Oh, wait. Whoops. I was on the wrong fucking sim. I was trying to click you. Oh, you can also get up, though. I don't know why I clicked Ambrose and thought I was on Ansel. Simmering rage! I'm just gonna cheat that up for you so you can go woohoo without, you know. Because you really shouldn't pee in the shower when you're about, when your husband's in there with you. You shouldn't pee in the shower when somebody else is there with you. I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> We're gonna. Excuse me! I don't want your pee on my feet. You know, I, I would just feel like anybody would feel that way, so that's good. Where are you going? Oh, okay. You decided to go. Okay. And then you should probably go to sleep. Do you have work today? I got you a job, right? Yeah, you do. Okay, cool. Mischief interactions not started. Where's your son? Oh. Yeah, I don't think you're going to have time to get mischievous. That's okay. Embarrassed? Everything was so slippery. The privacy was invaded by your husband. Hang up. Hey, wait. Don't you want to? And it figures somebody would crank call. An adult would crank call a child. My poor child. Okay, you need to go pee. Um. You are going to end up going to work soon. You're going to bed. You're fine. Can you, like, leave the room, please? So that your brother can pee. Go pee. And I like how he thinks his privacy was invaded. Um, I'm not sure it was your privacy that was invaded, sweetie. Like, you were naked, but you were in the shower with your husband. They have the little elfiest fucking noses. I just don't even, I don't even know where that came from either. Where the hell they go? Where'd he go? Oh my god. But he does. He has such an elfy fucking no Okay. Can't right now. Hold on. I'm trying to spin the camera, but like, look at his little elfy fucking nose. It's like, they both have these elfy noses. My sims are so awkward. And he's got elfy ears. Where do they come from with these, by the way? Like, when did we marry in an elf? We didn't, but we have the elf-tastic features. I feel like you're going to have the little elfy. No. I was trying to look at Miles, but that's okay, Ansel. Just jump in the fucking way. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. I'm tired. My shoulder hurts. My whole body hurts. Like, ugh. It's turning. Anyway. Um. Are you going to go to work? Go to work like... Okay, you're going to work any minute now. And you're sleeping already. Okay. You're fine. So, I mean, maybe that's why Ansel sleeps all day. Because, like, he's got to be the one taking care of the kids. Because Liam works all day, so then he comes home and then he's freaking exhausted. And then Ambrose goes to work at night. So, like, the only person around is Ansel to watch other people's kids. Oh, you gonna go chat your boy? Chat with your favorite child. It's funny, though, that, like, you'd think if Liam was going to resent any of his children, work extra hours, um, performance gain small, uh, you would, you'd think he would resent 
Miles because he's the one that was born while you were in high school. You know what I mean? But like somehow that didn't like stack up. But I think it's kind of like, well, Miles was kind of an easy child, you know, even though he has no empathy. I feel like he's learning that from uh, Ambrose. I think he's learning that from Ambrose. And possibly, you know, maybe he wasn't born that way. Maybe he wasn't born like a psychopath. You know, his little, I mean, I get it in The Sims. It's more like you're just very insensitive and whatever. And I don't think he would be totally insensitive with a ton of other people or naturally that way. It's just you're used to dealing with like Ambrose and fucking Leona. You know what I mean? And Ambrose isn't the most like sensitive person. He really gives no fucks about other people but himself, to be honest. And, like, I mean, yes, he loves Liam, but, like, obviously he does things all the time that makes Liam fucking mad. And then you've got fucking Leona, who's just, like, kind of an asshole. So, like, yeah, you know, there's no wonder that this kid... What are you doing? Cleaning out the fridge. You should go to bed, maybe? Like, 1 a.m. But you know what he is? It's, like, it's his birthday! And now you're awake. You were the, like, this house is so fucked up. Nobody is, like, on a normal sleep schedule. And he's like, what the fuck were you doing? Yeah, you were going to make a mess. Don't do that. I'm the one that has to clean it up. He's like, all right, fine. I'll clean it up, Uncle Hansel. Wouldn't want you to get in trouble. Look at that. That was just such a touching moment. Because, like, that's seriously what it looked like. Like, he's going to make a mess. And Anzo was like, what are you doing? You know I'm going to have to clean that up, right? And then your dad's going to get pissed at me. I was like, he hates kids. No offense. And then, like, freaking, like, Leona is over here like, all right, I'll clean up my mess. I'm sorry. And then they hugged it out. He's like, thanks. You're a good kid. Like, aw. Aw. You know what, Leona? I'm really glad that you have Anzo in your corner. Okay. Because the rest of your family is going to start, like, being horrible to you. You're going to be horrible to them. I feel like they should take a family vacation and, like, leave the uh, We're going to have to wait. And like I said, I'm not really sure. I, it'll We'll decide when it becomes where it feels like it's a natural point. Um, is there Are there any leftovers in here? Oh no. Um oh there are. Okay. Maybe you should cook food while you're awake. Let's see, what do we have in here? We have nothing. Okay. Ambrose is home and he swiped an object. Good for you. Why are you going to bed? Oh, spray the monster under the bed. That's your bed though. We're gonna have you cook. I'm gonna have you cook some. Uh, let's, I guess you can make some gumbo. Let's, uh, cook a gourmet meal. Um, we'll have this vegetable tempura. And then maybe we'll cook some more stuff. Let's make some grilled cheeses. So we gotta have lots of food. You're the one that has to cook all the time. True, we're also spellcasters. But you are not one? Aren't you a spellcaster? Do you not know Delicios? Magic? No. You don't? Okay. We really never learned... Where are you going? Resume that. I'm not... Why did you make... Oh, that is gumbo. Okay. It looks like frankenbeans. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, don't make frankenbeans. Because then my sims do nothing but fart. Can we magic practice practical magic because I feel like I forgot you were a fucking spellcaster and that would have can you practice magic oh you would practice mischief magic 100% child and then oh wait you actually should 
No shit. Oh, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. I don't want you to go to school. Because it's your birthday. So, like, business. Take a vacation day. Okay, hold on. Right? Because it's your birthday. And I don't want you to go to school. I want you to age up. Okay. Um, open. I mean, you probably could have made it to school. But I'm just going to put this out. Can you clean this for me, kiddo? I guess not. Kids can't clean counters. I mean, at least it's not working. Can you oh, good. You're going to clean it. Okay, cool. Never mind. We should get you a wand. You have you have two. You have this wand of the Sylvan Forest and the ancient wood wand. Which ones do you have? You have the bone wand and the magician's wand. Oh my god, that's so funny. I feel like you. Hmm. Hmm. I kind of want Leona to use a magician's wand. Just... Oh, well, that's good. Please don't. Please don't do that. Go do something fun. And then maybe go to sleep. Okay, I'm just really concerned that I told you to go do something fun. And your idea... Oh, Jesus Christ. I told you to go do something fun. I saw this happening. Um, you cannot plead for your fucking husband. Okay, can you... Demand he be spared. I saw this happening. I saw this happening because he was doing the thing, he got electrocuted, and then I was like, go do something fun, and then he was finishing the, rep the repair, and I was like, should I cancel this? And then it went away, and I was like, alright, he's done. And then he got electrocuted. I knew that was going to happen. And yet, here we are. This is not... Wow. Okay. Like father, like son. Alright, well, you know what? Um... Okay. Happy birthday, Miles. Your dad just died. <sighs> Fucking A. Okay, well, that is not... I... I... It's my own fault, because I knew that was going to happen. Okay, um, I just... <laughs> I just want to throw it out there. Salem was not my... Salem was absolutely my fucking fault because it was raining and then I told him to fix the thing and he got electrocuted and then I told him to do it again. And then I was like, I probably shouldn't do that. It is rain. And then he got electrocuted and died and I was like, my own fault. This is half my fault because I'm not going to lie. Um... Uh, I just, yeah, all right, I'm just gonna, you know what, no, I'm gonna leave you out here where you died. You can just kind of stay here in these trees. There you go. Okay, well, that sucks, because I, I really fucking love Ambrose. I really do. Alrighty, that's, you know, um, yeah, okay, I, I just, um, I can't process this right now, I did not want that to happen, oh my god, stop it. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, not how I thought this was going to go. I, I should have known, though. Like, too young for kissing! Um, I, okay, I'm just going to cheat your needs up because I don't want to deal with it. I'm sorry, I can't, I just, um... 
I, you know how he's, he's very energized for the fact that his father just got electrocuted. It's like, I told him to go do something fun and he went to go repair the thing. And I was like, this is probably not good. And I sat there with my hand over the thing and then like it filled up like it was done. And I was like, okay, he's going to go to sleep. And then like, nope, electrocuted. I So I just, I had the opportunity to stop him because my thought went through my head like, you already got electrocuted, maybe you shouldn't do this. And I just, but I didn't. I mean, well, like father, like son. I feel like we should, you know, electrocute Miles. So it'd be like grandfather, like father, like son. Like, you know what I mean? So it's just a long line of getting electrocuted. Or Leona's going to have to learn Inferniate or some shit. What did he learn? He did learn a spell, didn't he? He learned Deliriate. Okay, well, the town is here for you? Is this because they came over because somebody in my family died? That's actually really fucking nice. That's so sweet. Man, Sulani, you're nice. You came over. You brought me fucking fruitcake, didn't you? What the actual fuck? My, my brother just died. Death told me to go fuck myself when I pleaded for his life. I demanded he be spared. And you have the audacity to bring me a fruitcake? Fucking rude. I guess we can technically invite our neighbors in. Um. I'm not. Okay. Not sure how they're going to. How I'm going to. I. Yes, Ten minutes of me just being like, I don't know. That's actually sweet. We heard about your loss. I wanted to stop by to let you know we're here for you if you need you. That's kind of, I just wish it wasn't just Sulani that did that, like your actual name, because like, it's kind of like, if if there's any, I mean, I guess it's because Sulani is supposed to be like the neighborhood kind of thing, like maybe your other neighbors don't, but I kind of wish that was just a thing that other Sims did, that like, maybe your Sims friends, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, maybe not just random strangers, but I do wish that like my Sims friends or something would come over when a family member died or something like this, so. You don't really seem phased that your dad is dead. And my only sad part... Actually, you know what? Good for us, I guess. Because Leona doesn't get al didn't get along with Ambrose really well. I am so sad. Amber I love Ambrose so fucking much. I am so fucking sad. <laughs> I loved him. If it were Liam, I don't think I'd have been as upset. But I liked Ambrose. Shit. What the fuck? Why is it always like, in this family, I think Ambrose is my favorite. And then like Leona would have been my second because they're the heirs, I guess. Like, I mean, I feel bad for Ansel, but like... Ansel really does need to stick around for Leona, so I don't want him to die. But if it came down to anybody else in the family, well, obviously Leona's out. I mean, not Leona. Miles is going to die. Not yet. But like, and then like Liam, like Liam, you're kind of useless. You could go. I don't want my sim that I give a fuck about dying. Why will this child not fucking go pee? Why will my sims not do what I'm telling them to do? Why, if I'm telling you to go pee, will you not go fucking pee? Go fucking pee, you asshole. My motherfucking god. Why will they not fucking all of a sudden do what I'm fucking telling them to do? God damn, go f Why? Why will you not fucking go pee? Why will you not fucking go pee? Is it because these fuckers are stuck in my house? Like, go fucking pee, you cunt. What the shit? Yes, go fucking pee. There's toilets. There's everything. Why do they refuse to go into their own house? Why will you not go into your own fucking house? 
Go here. Why can you not get in your own motherfucking house? Why can they not get in their own house suddenly? Lock for everyone? And then unlock? Why can you not get in the fucking house? Why can you not get in your own motherfucking house suddenly? Why? I don't understand what the fucking problem is. Why can they not get in their fucking house? None of them can get in the house. But the guests can come. Why? Why the fuck could you not get in your own motherfucking house for the last two fucking hours? Because these fucking sims were in our house so you couldn't come in your own house? What the actual fuck? No, Sydney, not fucking right now. Jesus Christ. All right, will you come here and fucking, like, just age up? What the actual shit? I'm trying to get these fuckers to do shit. You poor thing. You are sad. Okay, here's the set, the worst part. Oh, dear God. Go away, person. Leona is the one sad about Ambrose dying. And fucking... Uh, <laughs> and Miles gives no fucks. He's good. I actually... I like that. Let's make you athletic. Oh <gasps> No, wait. Hold on. Wait. No, I wanted that, but I want this one. Extreme sports enthusiast. Yes, that's what I want. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? He's like in stream sports and things. Okay, your custom content's horrible, but you're kind of cute. You've got like a big chin. Like very round. It's the custom content. Your custom content's horrible, you poor thing. But I love the fact that he is not sad in the slightest that his father is dead. Despite the fact that you had a good relationship with Ambrose. Didn't you? Yeah. Leona had a shit relationship with Ambrose. And now it starts. Now, no, no, no. You're not going to console him about his death or anything like that. You're going to basically start, you know, kind of being mean and all that stuff. Liam, no offense, but you could have been the one to die. Didn't I say that in the last part? Like, if we could, like, kill off Liam or whatever? But, like, I mean, okay. The only... I don't want it to say benefit because there's no benefit to Ambrose dying. But like if he was at least the one that died, Leona already had a shit relationship with him. So, so now we got to work on our shit relationship with uh, like Liam. I feel like maybe mile, not miles. God, I keep getting my kids mixed up. Maybe Leona is like, you were there and you should have told him to stop working on the thing. That was my fault. Sweet. I knew what I was doing. I mean, I knew in my head that this was a bad idea. And I was like, this isn't good. And I just do not have a very good reaction time. But I know, right? You really need to go pee. Like, okay, you're on your way to go pee. But like, you guys are just like falling apart. Pee and then please take a shower. I told you to take a shower an hour ago, but I think you didn't because... Miles was in the bathroom. Don't know why you felt the need to walk to that bathroom to wash your hands when there's a sink right here, but... Oh, dear God, can we just... do Go away, people. Yeah. God fucking damn it. I. It was nice that you came over to, like, give us food because my fucking brother died and everything. Our family member died. But, like, for fuck's sake, assholes... Go away now. There's no too much, too much. Oh, and actually, who got his um? It's in our family inventory, isn't it? So, oh dear God, there's so much shit in here. Ooh, wand of the elementals. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. 
Oh my god, there's brew. Okay, well, why do we have two of these? I'm gonna sell the other one. We don't need both of them. I can't. We don't need these packets of uh, seeds. We don't need this. Oh. Wait, we need to put these up in our house somewhere. They're the... Okay, can you put the walls up? Thank you. There we go. You can put them up over here. There are windows into Leona's room. Get rid of those. You can put these, like, pictures up on the wall. There we go. It's kind of stupid because they have like a thing like a shadow underneath them despite the fact that they're on the wall. Oh, this is our glimmer stone, which I guess we can get rid of. Why do we have... Oh, these are all things that he stole. That's hilarious. Or earned as job rewards. Espionage things, books, things. Okay, that's fine. I don't need to worry about all this. But it's like... The hey, there's a cake in here. Hey, we had a cake! I knew we had a fucking cake. Where the hell has that been? Where has that cake been? Anyway, uh, so now we have another cake. All right, well. We must have had that for something. I, I don't know. Well, now we have another cake. Okay. Anyway, well, now people are going to eat that. But why we also have dog shit in our inventory, I don't understand. That's bizarre. Oh, I will give you this fancy wand. Because I kind of want Leona to have this one. Because it's cool. Um, but yeah, so we'll give Miles a makeover. And then I will see you guys next time. My frame rates are crap. Because I just went into the thing. But it'll be fine. Anyway, I love the fact that he gives no fucks that his dad died. Ever These very energized moodlets... Are like taking oh excuse me i'm trying to read what this one is things will get better he's optimistic i mean it's just like fucking insane how little fucks he gives it's kind of bizarre is okay you should get a fish tank for that wow you found a lot of good shit kid we're gonna sell that holy fuck what the hell a trash pile, which we can throw out. Okay, anyway. Like, so, yeah, we'll give him a makeover. And then whatnot. So, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more.